Oh, fuck. You read the title. That's why I'm saying, oh, fuck. Box eye bleach. <sighs> It's gonna get spooky. Let's check it out. Up first, we have a video by Miana Chloe or Miana Chloe. I don't know. I never know. I'm going to be bleaching my entire head. I do have some box dye in my hair. If Broad Mondo ever watches this, I am so sorry. It's not okay. You're not forgiven. Yo, you got a lot going on in there. You have the blonde roots, the box dyed mids and ends. It's just going to be extremely difficult to lighten this evenly. Really, really, really difficult. That box dye looks inky. It looks intense. It looks like you did multiple layers of box dye over itself. So it's gonna be even more difficult to lift that out of your hair. She says she blames me in the title, by the way. What the fuck do you blame me for? What did I do? I haven't dyed it in like over a year. I have a lot of growth here. You can see that line there. And then I also had peekaboo hair in the back, which is where you have it bleached underneath. So we have even more stuff going on. She also has bleach in the back of her hair that she's gonna need to watch out for or else she risks over processing it and her hair disintegrating and falling to the floor. She's gonna have a hard time seeing it while she's coloring and it's going to be chaos. So I know I look crazy right now. I have my natural undyed hair in a little bun in the back. So I'm gonna start with this section right here. Got my gloves on. Whoa, okay. Maybe I judged too much at first because she has her hair in four quadrants. She is starting from the back and she's working from the bottom up and she's wearing gloves. Woo! What the fuck? Damn. I'm going to be using powder lightener and some Salon Care 30 volume developer. I like the 30 volume. She's gonna need that in order to get that heavy, heavy box dye out of her hair. Maybe starting with a color remover could have been a better idea as well. I think it would have been better for you. I made sure that my scalp was nice and dirty. You do not ever wanna wash your hair before lightening it. Ooh, she knows too much. But she said she blames me, so something must have gone wrong. So Brad always says, use a lot of lightener. If you use less lightener, you will just end up with a bunch of spots. And that's not the look we're going for. Wait, I love you. I'm very nervous on how this went wrong though. Cause you seem to be doing a lot of things right. The only thing I would critique right now is you should have taken less hair in that section. It's a little bit too thick. It was at this moment that he knew. <laughs> I am so stupid. I forgot about this piece that I just up here let's do that guys i know that those gloves like come with the color usually invest in just some nice latex fitted gloves because those things make everything so annoyingly difficult they slip off they slide they make it so hard to feel the hair just stay away from those sh gloves it's like getting everywhere. That doesn't seem too saturated to me. You said you were gonna saturate a lot, but I'm not quite seeing it. What's going on here? Also, I would definitely use foils on you because you need that heat. You need that hair to be burning up, but not burning to the point where it breaks off, but like burning up, like getting hot. <laughs> Without the foil, it's maybe not gonna get hot enough and maybe not gonna lift enough. So good luck. Why am I doing this by myself? It's like all over the floor. <sighs> Listen, it's great that you guys are now starting from the ends. However, when a professional starts from the mids and ends, we're doing it in a much different way. We are taking paper thin slices. We are laying foils in between every section of hair. That way we can then at the end, go back in between all the foils and paint all the roots. And everything's gonna be really nice and organized at that point. People like to refer to these as like a platinum card. You can look up what that is if you would like. When I say to start at the mids and ends and you guys actually do it, it just gets really messy when you guys do it. I'm gonna be honest with you, it gets a little bit messy. It's like, but there's really no way around it. So I don't know what to tell you. Oh, it's bleaching my skin. You know what? I should probably put my hair over the bowl so it drips into the bowl. This lightener's not thick enough. Thicker lightener next time. Thicker, thicker, thicker. Almost toothpaste consistency. This is just way too thin. It's gonna lose its power real quick. Now let's get this. It seems to be getting a little chaotic. We lose in sight of what we're trying to do here. What's going on? What is happening? The other issue here is that we're laying all the hair on top of itself, right? Everything is kind of like smushed down. When we work in nice sections, I'm speaking as a hairdresser, we don't want to push the hair on top of itself because the lightener will end up smearing onto the roots and getting all smushed and creating lines and it's just not going to be good. It's not going to look good. You're going to get like zebra stripes on your root area. Leave some air in between. Don't pull everything 
sitting down. Don't start putting things into ponytails and just raking the bleach through. It's not, not, not a good idea. Now we have to do the roots. No, no, no. We're not doing the roots yet. Have you learned nothing from me? We have to wait until the hair is processed to a pale yellow in order to do the roots. Okay, so those mints and ends need to be pale yellow. They are right now dark brown. So what's going on? All I know is that in order to make this not be a complete fail is to make sure that I get everything covered. Those roots are going to lift so fast. Her hair is so naturally light. Plus, she is not even sectioning the hair. <laughs> why are we just going on top of the hair with lightener right now? We have to section everything out again. And why are we working from the front to the back? We worked from the back to the front the first time, so we have to do the same thing over again. We can't change the direction now. Things are already processing back here and not up here. Yeah, this is definitely not lightning as much as the rest is. Maybe I could just take some bleach that's on the floor. Bleach that's on the floor? No, this is just going downhill. I'm having a little reaction. Oh my God. She's having a full on allergic reaction to the bleach. Great. So I just rinsed it out and we're looking a little yellow and a little orange, but for the first round of bleach, I really think it's not that bad. Ah, well that makes one of us and not one is you. I will say your root area, the way that lightens so clean, your mids and ends, I'm horrified. I am scared, scared, scared. That's not ever gonna come out. I don't know, it might, but highly unlikely. Since I use so much, I don't have any spotting, which was my main goal for the first round was no spots. So I'm really glad that it turned out nice and even. All right, this is what we're looking like. I will do another round of bleach. All right, round two. How many rounds do you guys think we're gonna get to today? I'm guessing three. I'm gonna use the same mixture that I did yesterday. So I'm gonna do some 30 volume. I know that's a bit much for lightening something that's already this light. So I'm just not gonna leave it in for as long. I actually think 30 volume is perfect for this case. Honestly, you need a lot of power to lift out this artificial pigment that's orange. It is stubborn as f okay? Guys, do not run out of lightener if you can help it. Note to self, do not run out of lightener. I'll try not to. So I wrapped it in plastic and then I took the plastic off. It's looking pretty good, but we can't tell for sure until I wash out all the lightener. No, it is still so orange. Honestly, you know when your hair is done lightening, if it almost looks see-through while the bleach is still on, because when you rinse it off, it'll always be a little yellow. But when the bleach is on there, it needs to look white. I also don't even want to say that <laughs> because to a trained stylist, like you'll know what that means. To an untrained eye, you could also push that way too far. Like to you, white could mean like literally snapping off. To me, white means like healthy, but really blonde. This is what my hair is looking like now. It's definitely way less orange than it was before. I think I can tone it now. Don't tone it now. You need to lighten it. We gotta make it all one color. I will be using T18 on the more yellow and light parts. And I will be using T14 on the darker, more orange parts. <laughs> Don't do that. We need like a level nine, level eight, ash, violet undertone, di-permanent toner. And we need to do all the root area first, all that kind of light yellow. And then we pull it down to the ends for a little less time than the toner was sitting on the top. Because the top of your hair is lighter and the bottom of your hair is darker, we want to kind of even those colors out. That's the easiest way I can think of doing it at home. That's not how I would do it in the salon. I would do a much more complicated process, but if you want to make it super easy, that's sort of how you do it. Take everything I say with a grain of salt, by the way. But where she She's doing right now, she's gonna end up with really silvery roots and still orange ends. So I don't know what the idea was there. I hope this works because I feel like the top of my head isn't quite level 10. I feel like it's in between 9 and 10. So I'm really hoping that it works. Let's just hope my hair doesn't end up looking really weird because I used two different toners. So this is what my hair looks like right before I'm about to wash it. I'm gonna get this all rinsed out and then I'm going to dry it and we'll see if it worked. The top looks pretty good, but I'm not too sure about this here. It still looks kind of dark. And it's looking a little 
green. So hopefully that's just the toner making it look like that and it won't look like that when I rinse it out. That's because T14 is super blue and your hair is super yellow. Blue and yellow make green. We don't want to tone yellow hair with a blue base toner. So here's my hair after washing and drying and overall it looks okay, but there are a couple small issues like right here. Oh no. It's a little bit patchy there. I'm assuming how that happened is the toners mixed there and it like made it weird. So that's kind of sad. And then underneath it's way lighter and way ashier than on top. Oh fuck. We got a lot going on here. Oh, it is so spotty and it is two different colors. Exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Oh my God. And then my last issue is I was straightening my hair and I guess it got a little bit too hot. This was the last piece that I straightened and it's literally fried at the ends here. Oh sh what? So it has been a few days since I last did anything to my hair. It's way too yellow down here. So I'm going to tone it again. Oh, here we go again. Another toner. All right, let's do it. Even if it's still a little bit uneven, I just want it to be better than it was. That's all I care about. I'm gonna let that process for like 10 more minutes. You know, I think it's interesting. A lot of people, they decide if the toner doesn't work the first time, they're gonna do the second time and see if it works better. The toner is still gonna look the same. It's the same level, it's the same toner. It's everything's the same. It's not gonna look different. Am I getting my point across? It's been a few weeks since I last did anything to my hair, but this is what my hair looks like since I last toned it. It still looks kind of yellow in the video, but I think it's better than how it was. I'm actually really like it and you can see my roots are growing out because it has been a few weeks when i first toned it it had like that gray spot it went away so it looks way better and i'm really happy with it brad mondo i hope i didn't disappoint too much okay honestly for the circumstances and what she had to work with pretty decent i think it could be lightened again for sure and next time let's use the right toner and it could be way prettier like let's get it to a pale blonde and then let's put a t18 over it t18 is fine on the right head of hair it would look beautiful like ice queen princess Goddess, and I would love it. So maybe let's do that for me. Thank you. Oh, hey, can we take a break for a second together and talk about something a little more sexy? Nothing is sexier than this brand new oil by X Mondo Air. It is called our Wave Tech Dual Enhancing Wave Oil. It's so soft and irresistible. It's the perfect oil for anybody with wavy or curly hair. It's lightweight, nourishing, so smooth. Up next, we have a video by Adrianka. I just decided to bleach my hair. I will section it and I will be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm back. I have uh, layers. I'm worried for you because you have curly hair and it looks to be very dry. What the fuck are we gonna do? How are we gonna get this light? I don't know. You know, sections here and here. I don't know if it's perfectly even, but that's the best I could do. Listen, we definitely sectioned. Do we section great? No. Am I okay with that? Yeah. At least we sectioned. You know, sometimes you just have to take what is given. And I'm trying for you guys. I have 30 volume developer bleaching powder toners. I think 30 is really good because 20 would not do the job. I could also make a 25 volume like 
with a 20 volume plus 30 volume, this would be great. I would prefer the 25 volume for you because your hair is dry, it is curly, and it is fine. It's probably gonna lift very well, very easily. I don't really know for sure, but from what I can see through this screen right here that is like really far away from me, it looks like it's gonna lift easy. I'm going to mix it with a plastic spoon that's starting to get some texture. I love when people mix bleach with anything they can find around their house. I love the creativity. It smells really bad. It's like killing my nose cells. You know what? Bleach really f with your nostrils. Like that sh will go in the nostrils and burn every single hair in your nostril. If you've never used bleach before, it is like so intense. Just some of them are really dusty and they just go right in there. F with your nose. Right now, I think I'm done using the brush. I'm sorry. It just so, so badly smell and- I'm obsessed. The last two people, they, they do one stroke with the brush, then it's like, I'm sorry, I'm tapping out of the brush. Guys, just don't use a brush. When I say all these things, it's me saying things not based on what I think is best to do, but what I think is doable for somebody at home, all right? Because I would definitely use a brush if I was doing the color. But you at home, I just, I don't know if the technique is there enough to use a brush. So now my hair are fully covered in the this bleaching sh it smells really, really bad. Bleaching sh It looks to be very saturated, so that's awesome. However, it looks dry as f because your hair is dry. Your hair is absorbing the water in the bleach, and it is drying out so quickly. And dry bleach is never good because dry bleach does not process very well. I'm nervous. Now, I'm working on the roots. Basically, I will just split it up and paint, 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 paint. I still have yet to see one single person color their roots correctly after doing their mids and ends. Everybody just kind of moves the clumps over and paints the clumps. You gotta actually separate the hair. But the issue is once your hair is clumped up like this, you can't exactly separate it very easily. So that's why we do very clean, very paper thin, even slices of hair. But none of you are gonna do that. So I don't even know why I waste my breath. And that's okay, you know, just know that your hair is not gonna look amazing. Okay, so I'm back. I have my roots done. I'm thinking maybe I will uh, take it off a little bit earlier than after 45 minutes. You know, this is something I haven't seen in a long time. The plastic bag. Nobody's doing that anymore. I don't know why I never call anybody out for that, but you should be covering your hair with plastic. That's very important to keep that heat in there and to keep that bleach moisturized. We gotta cover our heads and our asses. This is it's not good. I had a color on my hair and it was black color. So I will try again tomorrow. She also had black box dye on her hair. Ah, now orange. Also 45 minutes, not enough time, clearly. And those roots, bing! White as hell. We need to let those ends process, you guys, before touching the roots. Ugh. Have I taught you nothing? I don't want my hair to die. I want them to die then, but I don't want them to die. That's exactly what I want for you too. I don't want your hair to die, but I want you to die then. We're getting crafty now with the foils. We got foils happening. All right, I'll see. Yeah, we should really saturate the hair first with our hands and then put the foil over it. Don't try and paint it into the foil. These sections are way too big to do that. We're working around the head. Ugh, I have a little bit of hope for them, but not a lot. I just really don't know about this one. It could be good, it could be horrible. God. We just put more lightener on the root at the same time that the ends are processing. Why did we do that? I don't understand. We need to let the root be on its own, okay? We don't need to lighten it again. That hair is so fragile right now. It's curly, it's dry, it's already bleached. We're gonna bleach it again now with another round of 30 volume. The ends need all that power, not the root area. And why are we not using foils in the front of our head? Ugh! This is how my hair looks 
right now. I don't know what happened here. I also don't understand what happened. Why does it look no different? I've never had a bang, so I don't know when this happened. She just said she never had a bang. <laughs> Wait, all that hair broke off, you're telling me? Oh my god. Luckily, I uh, will be doing some darker colors. Cotton candy, pink, at a McTurkis, and... I'm feeling like I wanna uh, use the rest of the Enchanted Forest. I'd like to use this to my roots. So she ended up coloring her hair blue and underneath pink. I love it. I think it looks awesome like that. I'm so honestly so happy she didn't keep it blonde because the blonde was looking really scary. And with that breakage, I was just like, ah. And then she's gonna try and tone it and it was just gonna be way too much. Good choice. Holy sh the technique was really scary. I hope next time that gets better. Maybe there shouldn't be next time. Well, as long as you're having fun, I guess it's fine. <laughs> Up next, we have a video by Destiny Case. I have officially decided to dye my hair blonde. I got the color off to take off all of the hair dye that I've had on my hair before, before I go in with bleach. She's deciding to remove all of her box dye with a color remover, which is great. We haven't seen anybody do that today, and I'm excited about it because that's a good, good, good Good first step. My only issue with this color remover is that it looks to be one that contains bleach in it in the formula. So some of them do, some of them don't. The ones that do, I don't like them. I just don't understand it. I don't like them. I don't want to bleach the hair. I just want to remove the artificial color pigments. When people use these things at home, it creates spotting and all crazy shit. So ah. Uh, <laughs> the remover definitely worked. It definitely did something. The color right now looks like you just removed box dye from your hair, right? Like it just looks raw. It looks unnatural. It's not a great color. There's a lot of work to do. Oh, oh I thought it was bad, but then she turned around and showed us her roots and it was really fun. Bad. It is spotty everywhere. This color remover did contain lightener clearly because she applied some of her roots and not other roots and it completely changed her root color. Oh my God, you poor thing. Not a second round, no. No. This is my hair after the second time of putting the color remover in it. I actually ran out of product again because I only got one more box thinking that it'd be enough. It really is like super like orange, orange yellow with blotchy brown spots everywhere. Oh my God. It's gotten worse. It now has very dark, dark, dark pieces and spots and very, very, very light and a lot of orange in between. Oh my God. How is she going to fix this? She isn't. So, um, the 30 volume i am a little scared of that 20 volume would have probably been good 25 maybe quick blue super strong could work i don't know but then i saw a high lift color which is not a toner that is a permanent color that can only be used on hair that is not previously color treated so that isn't gonna work and then we have a toner for very blonde hair. I don't know if we're gonna get there, babe. I don't know if we're gonna get there today. Well, starting with the root here is a little risky, but it's okay, because her roots are definitely a lot darker than her ends. We'll see. She did all her roots first, and then she's putting all the ends in foils. But we need more foils. We need a lot, a lot of foils and a little bit of hair in between to really get that hair hot enough to lighten evenly and very bright. And we're just not doing that. Whoa. The hair is blonde. The blonde is blonding, for sure. Why is there one section of her hair that is silver and the rest is yellow? What happened? Please tell me. I'm gonna be honest though. The blonde looks 
phenomenal on her. Whoa. We started putting the Ash Blonde toner in and it literally turned my hair blue right here. So we took it out really quick and decided not to do the rest of the hair. So my next step is I'm just gonna get some purple shampoo and try to just tone out the yellow and orange. The back of your head actually looks better. Why don't we just do the whole thing with that toner? It seemed to have been working just fine. I have to get a clarifying shampoo to try to get the blue out before I try to do anything else with my hair. I don't hate it. In due time, I will get there to the shade that I want, but for now, this is okay. Well, that was a quick video. She ended up using purple shampoo to tone her hair. It looks better, not optimal. She definitely needed somebody to go in there and jet, get all those spots of yellow out and make everything really even with the lightener before we then use any kind of toner. You know, that was the biggest mistake, but it looks decent enough and the blonde looks, like I said before, phenomenal on her, so I'll take it. But also, horrifying. Well, if I learned one thing today, it's to not box dye my hair, which I wasn't planning on doing, but I think that was more for you. Maybe think twice or don't. At the end of the day, it is just hair. Let's have fun with it. If you guys want to check out my hair care, my hair color line, so your hair doesn't end up like these people's did. That was so mean, but truly. Go to exponohair.com or check out the link right down below. And that's it for today. Bye.